Hello and welcome back to another one of my videos. I had another few thrift flips that were stored into my computer from a couple months ago so I figured I would edit the footage and show you. I tried to push myself to make projects that would be a little more creative, so not just modifying the length of a skirt or the length of a sleeve, but actually changing the essence of the thing in question. <laughs> So I have two projects in this video. I have this emerald green pant that was made out of this velvety material. And I also have this pillowcase that was very frilly and filled with interesting details that I thought I could reconstruct into something I could actually wear. So without further ado, let's get started. The pants were simple enough as is. They were too large for me, meaning that I had a lot of fabric to work with. They had an elastic waistband, real pockets in the back and fake pockets in the front. I started it off by unsewing the pockets in the back. Because I wasn't sure exactly what I was going to do with the pants, I figured if I deconstructed them first, then I could take each piece of fabric that I was left with and I could maybe play around with it and see what I could create out of them. After removing the elastic waistband, I started playing around with it and then I used one of the legs as a new sleeve which really showed me what the fabric could be turned into. You can see here that I kept the elastic that was in the waistband, but ultimately I had to remove it because it was just too tight, it wasn't springy enough, it was really hard to pull up and down over my head. So even though you see here that I am keeping it in the project, in the end I did remove it, and I only kept the fabric that was surrounding the actual elastic. Luckily this kind of fabric doesn't really fray, so all I had to do to just finish the edges was fold them over once instead of twice. So I proceeded to do that on all the edges that were unfinished, just to give a cleaner look. After having a vague idea of what I wanted to do with the fabric I was left with, I used my mannequin to pin the pieces into place and really give me a better idea of where to sew the pieces together. I really liked the way the fabric looked when it was gathered. I also played with the idea of adding a button in the back, but ultimately I decided it didn't really add anything to the top. To finish the sleeves, I wanted the ends to be adjusted to my wrist, so I used the fabric from the pockets that used to be on the pants and sewed those into place. And as you can see here, I made a mistake, so I had to unsew the cuff of one of the sleeves and re-sew it the right way. It's so annoying when it happens. <laughs> and can I just say, whenever that happens to you, just step away from the project, go do something else, go for a walk, whatever. <laughs> Otherwise, you're going to do more mistakes, you're going to get even more frustrated, and then you're just going to give up on the whole thing, and that's not what you want. So that's it for the first top. I really like how it kind of reminds me of Jasmine from Aladdin, who was 100% one of my favorite princesses from Disney. It's a crop top, which is perfect for summer weather, which of course we're no longer in, but even though it has sleeves, it's still open in the back, which keeps the overall top nice and breezy. You can still kind of see where the pockets used to be sewn. I figure if anyone ever comments on it, it would be like a conversation starter, which I'm fine with. <laughs> oh, why do you have like this weird line here? Oh, this used to be a pair of pants. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now here is my second project I had. It's a pillowcase that was around $3. It had all these fancy ruffles on the sides and it had a lot of fabric to work with. So again, I figured if I deconstructed the pillowcase, I would then be able to better see what I could do with the amount of fabric I had. This is when I realized there was an extra piece of fabric that was kind of a strip with a leafy detail, which I thought was really cute and I was really excited about it. After I was done unsewing everything, I saw that I had all of this fabric to work with. So again, I used my mannequin to drape the fabric and see how it would lay. I was trying to see if this particular fabric would be used for the neckline or for sleeves. Ultimately I liked the look of it on the bottom part. Then I had this bigger piece of fabric that I thought would be nice to cover the upper area of my torso. Then I figured this strip of fabric would be perfect for new straps for the top. After playing around with the fabric a little more, I really liked the idea of having a top that would be a little more relaxed. So a lot of gatherings and a lot of ruffly type of effects. Because it was going to be so busy with all the lacing and detailing, I thought gathering the fabrics would kind of tone it down a bit, make it more of a prairie-esque kind of top. Fun fact, I recently switched from making videos in French to making videos in English, so the upcoming clip is me speaking in French and then realizing that I wanted to make this video in English. <laughs> 
So here you go. Maintenant que j'ai une meilleure idée de ce que je vais faire avec, je vais le couper en deux, celui qui a de la dentelle cute. Parce que je veux que ce soit ce qui apparaît sur le devant. Je veux en avoir assez pour faire en arrière aussi. Le plan, c'est que je fasse comme un gathering. Oh, I meant to do this video in English. I forgot. Okay, so. <laughs> And of course now it's a little see-through, like you can see the blue across, but I plan on doubling it with one of the fabrics from earlier. Next what I'll do is take a piece of elastic, measure it across. I want to make sure that this is comfortable when I breathe. I think this is about right. I have enough of this plain white cotton to double this. By the way, I would like to thank all the new subscribers who have joined me on this creative journey. It's very exciting to share what I create with you guys, but also a little intimidating. Because I wanted to be able to slip the top over my head, I decided to use elastics to create the gathering effect. Plus it would be a little easier for me and a little faster than actually creating ruffles. I sewed channels into the fabric so that way I could slip in the elastic and adjust it to my body more easily that way. This is the tube that's going to go around my body. I took out the elastic now that I know what I'm doing. And I'm creating another tube down here. So the first tube that you guys saw is this one here and I'm creating another one down here. But before sewing it, I plan on sandwiching this in here. So then I'm just gonna save myself some trouble. I won't have to re-sew everything. It's just gonna be one long sewing strand. And yeah, then after that, we can put in the elastics and figure out how tight I want it and then sew that in place. Yay! So exciting. <laughs> it needs adjustment for sure. I like how like, this part right here is kind of bunching up very nicely. When I'm gonna put in the straps, it's gonna hold up the back so it's not gonna be bunching. I want it to be nice and nice and taut. I do like the length too, so I'm happy about that. It's gonna be like a, a nice summery top. Let's keep on going. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. I started working on the piece I was working on yesterday. So this is what it looks like now. I kind of messed up when I wanted to close up the loop and I realized I should have done it before rather than after, but now that I'm doing it, I think it's a blessing in disguise because I figured, I think if I put in buttons right here, it's gonna look cute. So instead of having the closing to the side like I thought initially, I can have it in the front and then I can add like a detail, which I think will be really cute. Wanna say hello? Hey. Oh. So there you have it, that's the finished top. I'm a very indecisive person, so often I'll ask people on Instagram what I should do, what buttons I should pick, what length I should go for, that kind of stuff. So if you guys ever want to participate in one of my projects, don't hesitate to go follow me on my Instagram page. I'll put a link in the description down below. I love how this one turned out. I hope you guys enjoyed it too. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing, liking the video, sharing it if you feel so inclined. If there's anything that you would have done differently or if there's anything I did wrong that maybe you could tell me about, don't hesitate to leave a comment down below. Next week, hopefully, I'll have a video out about the coat right here that's in the background. I'm not showing you any more of it because I love how it turned out and I'm editing the video right now and I don't want to spoil you guys. <laughs> so on that note, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next week. Bye!